Hello, Mr. Melo here, your online math teacher, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be continuing a video series on Excel tips, and in particular, looking at how we can find the standard deviation of residuals. So if you find this video helpful, consider smashing that like button, subscribing, and let's go. So in my previous videos, I've talked a lot about the least squared regression line equation, how to make predictions of that, how to find residuals, both in in by hand and through more complex formulas in Excel. So here we're gonna do this, but for, for standard deviation of your residuals. So you can think of standard deviation just like a standard deviation of one variable data, typically how sp far apart were your values from the mean, but in terms of residuals, you're thinking about on average, how far apart were our predictions from the actual values. That's really, what our standard deviation is. So we can do it two ways. We can either do it the manual by hand way or the more advanced way using the data analysis toolkit in Excel. So I'm gonna show both ways. First, I'm going to do it the manual way. And this requires you to know the formula of it. So the formula is similar to standard deviation formulas you have before, but slightly different. So I am going to, I write a standard deviation residual there. It's just so I know what I'm finding. I need to start anything with equals. And just like with the other standard deviations, there's a big square root in it. So I'm going to start typing square root. And I can either type it in the cell or I can actually work up here. It's probably going to be a little easier up here. So I'm going to take the square root of the sum of the squares of the residuals. So sum, but not sum of the residuals, sum of the squares. So sum SQ returns the sum of the squares. So I have this. And I'm doing it for my residuals, which I've computed here in the H column already. So I'm just going to highlight that, close that with a parenthesis. So I'm taking the square root of the sum of the squares of each of my residuals, but I need to divide it inside the square root by two less than the number of residuals that are the square that are being summed together. So I'm going to divide it by the count function. So actually, I'm going to put parentheses count. So I'm using the count function, and I'm just going to highlight this because it's going to count how many different residuals I'm computing it but I want two less than whatever that value is, so I'm gonna do minus two. I'm gonna close my parentheses there, close the overall parentheses, hit enter, and I have the standard deviation of my residuals. So this heavily requires you to use the formula. It's tedious. You need to know Excel well to use all these functions. So you're probably not gonna to wanna to do this. You're going to want to use the data analysis button. So. I'm going to use data analysis. Now, no, you need to download the data analysis toolkit first, which I showed in another video at one point, but you can always do that by going to File, Options, Add-ins, Go. So see Analysis Tool Pack. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you highlight that. Once you do it once, it's always there. So I'm gonna just do data analysis first. So I'm in the Data tab, Data Analysis, and we've been doing regression, so you're gonna to go to regression in this list. My Y input range, range, make sure you highlight your Y values, so what you're predicting. My X range, this is the values I'm using to make the predictions, so I've highlighted that there. Uh, my top two headers are labeled, so I've highlighted that. And I mentioned the residuals. You can click other things if you want, but I don't need that. I'm gonna hit okay. It's gonna create it on a new page. And you're gonna see that we know from what we just computed, we're looking for about 12.69. That is right here under standard error. So in this regression statistics box it creates, and that's for your summary output, that standard error is your standard deviation number. So a lot of times standard deviation of your residuals is just referred to the standard error of these residuals. So this is what your standard deviation is. So you can use that to then make your interpretations. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, smash that like button and have an awesome day.